As far as you go? Yeah, there's a, that's a very good disc, by the way. That's a 2004 induction uh, Hall of Fame. And uh, it's got great interviews uh, with me and my part, the people that were inducted with me, like Tito and all the other guys, Jesse Ventura and stuff. But there is a, is, there's a match on there, uh, which was a classic match, uh, where I lost my title, but it was still a great match. It was uh, out of Baltimore, and it was... Um, uh, the steel cage match, Tito against myself from 1985, and um, fabulous match. That's on that DVD. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, I, I went to your website because I know you got a website out or whatever, and uh, I understand that you're coming up with a book. And if that's true, if it is, what can fans expect out of it, and when will it be, or when will the release date be? Well, I tell you what, uh, the book uh, I'm still working on, it, and it's it's a lot. It's it's a big undertaking for me because I started in 1970, and I'm 50 some years old now, and and I've been I'm still wrestling right now. I'm still in the business. I'm not sitting around selling cars or being a disc jockey somewhere or something. I'm still in the business, and. I've got a lot to say, and I started my book, and I've got a, you know, I, I use a tape recorder, basically like we're using right now, and uh, but not that big, but I, I go around and, and record things as I remember them, and uh, there is so much that, that uh, I'm having trouble condensing and chopping it up. I'm also having a problem with... Uh, there's there's certain things I want to say, but I don't know if I should say them or not because w once you put it on paper, for the public to see and everything. But I really, you know, I don't want a book that's censored by the WWE, censored by Vincent. Man, I want to come out with a book, not necessarily a uh, tell-all book like Jose Canseco or anything like that, but something more original and 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 tell them more about. Uh, instead of just road stories and wrestling stories, give them a little insight of, of my life, like how it was to go back to sit in a hotel room after being in front of 90-some thousand people. And, you know, just so, so I'm still working on it. I'm not sure if I'll even have the darn thing done this year, but I hope so. But I want to, when it comes out, I want it to be the right, the right deal, you know. Yeah, and, that, and that's very true because a lot of wrestlers, uh, not say anything bad about a lot of the other wrestlers, but they, you know, it's, it's like, you know, when you have somebody else write your stuff for you or whatever, their stories, they're true stories, but they're not, they don't put as much heart into them as, as to what you plan on doing, I take it. Yeah, and I've got a good guy, uh, Evans, his name, and he lives in Brooklyn, New York, and he's a school teacher and he's written books, and, and, uh, he's basically gonna go, uh, Ham walked me right through it when he gets all the tapes, and uh, we're going to, you know, I, I want to have a good, good book, and uh, I'm not going to drop names and stuff like that or hurt anybody, but I want it, I want it to be a, a real special book. I want it to be one of the best out there. Okay, well, that sounds great. I, I hope uh, when it does re get released that uh, I get a chance to take a look at it. And, uh, and let's see... Uh, well, let's talk about your book and whatnot. Uh, here's an idea that I have for you. Maybe you've thought about this, you know, in your career or even now that you're, uh, yeah, I mean, you're still in the career, you're still in the business, but now that you, you have your, your glory days, you know. Uh, I was thinking that you should talk to Vince McMahon and come up with a uh, kind of like a tribute DVD set of all your famous matches and, and whatnot and kind of like what you're doing for your book because, as you know, the WWE owns rights to over, what was it, about 75,000 hours of WWE program that combines everything that has been produced by WWE, WCW, ECW, Jim Crockett Promotions, NWA, all that stuff. And I'm sure you could work out some, or if you would work out some, uh, you could probably come up with a two or three disc DVD or maybe even a four disc like Hogan. And uh, what do you think about that? Well, I know that uh, some of the guys have their own disc. Jake the Snake Roberts, uh, some some other guys, uh, and uh, I'm surprised they haven't called me because I'm virtually on 
I'm all, I'm like on 20 years of. I was there for 16 years, and off and on for 20 years, but 16 straight through, and that's that's a long time, and that's a lot of tapes, that's a lot of stuff, and um, you know I thought I would have got a call already to to do it, and uh, I hear that they're they're doing one about Roddy Piper, uh, he's coming out with one, so um, you know trying to get to Vince and trying to talk to him is like pulling teeth. Uh, you always got to go through all everybody else, and then somebody else calls you back. But uh, you know that's a great idea, and um, uh, I would like to, I would like to to have him put it because there's plenty. Of, I'm people, a lot of people get this 24/7 channel, and yeah, but certain states do, and uh, they say they see me all the time on there, you know. So. Um, but uh, that's a good idea, and so I'll pursue that. Well, yeah, it's just something to think about because, uh, and, and uh, we're, we're talking about your your career and whatnot. Uh, and, and most of the DVD compilations that Vince uh, brings out, you're basically on just about all the uh, uh, DVD compilations anyway. So why don't they just put together a whole collection of stuff? Uh, even stuff maybe from house shows. I don't know if they tape house shows anymore. I don't really know what the circuit is on that, but. Uh, just great memories and whatnot and that people will love and cherish. And here's another question that I have for you. Uh, of course, it has to do with wrestling of yesterday compared to wrestling today. What are your thoughts on that? Well, wrestling today could be just as darn good or better than wrestling from my era because the guys are bigger. They're more. I think they're more athletic and everything. But, you know, I was watching a... Watching a match, I, I didn't even know it was on. I was over at my friend's house, and it was Saturday night's main event. A couple, couple weeks, I guess it was last Saturday. I didn't even know it was on, and um, so I said, "Hey, that's great, you know." And they were showing little clips. I thought I saw myself on one of the clips, and because I was, you know, we started that thing, and uh, it's very good for wrestling, and it's on mainstream NBC network, so it's fabulous. So I'm watching a six-man tag, and I'm 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 watching a wrestling, and a, and I'm you know I'm you know I'm like hey yeah 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 this is good you know this is good wrestling. All of a sudden a midget jumps out from underneath the ring, and hits a guy with a ball bat, and I go there you go there you go a bunch of more crap that they have to put in the mix to make it instead of making it look like a legitimate sport, which I always. Uh, I always told everybody I was a real wrestler, and I and I am. And when when they throw crap like that in there, it's like throwing a wrench right into everything. And I go, there we go again. You got nice serious wrestling going on, and a midget comes out with a baseball bat. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but back to your to answer your question, wrestling could be, or could be better, because you know every generation is better. And. Uh, athletes people bigger you know healthier people living longer but you know what it's not better it's better in in the era that i came from the 70s and the 80s and uh going back to saturday night's main event yeah with batista finally coming back uh on uh smackdown and whatnot he was supposed to take on mark henry this sunday at the Great American Bash, but uh, he's unfortunately injured. Now he'll take on Ken Kennedy. He, at got, the, in, he got injured again? Mark Henry? Well, Mark Henry got injured, and then uh, he got injured during that six-man tag. Oh, okay. I don't remember who he got injured by, but he uh, he did get injured. That Now uh, that's going to change for tomorrow night's uh, Great American Bash paper. It's going to be uh, Ken Kennedy facing Batista. I don't know if you follow SmackDown at all, but uh, I'm more of a raw guy myself, but I... I don't know, just because SmackDown's taped and whatnot, and right. Raw is live, you get more of that feeling when it's live. Uh, okay, and uh, not to take up too much more of your time, uh, once again, I want to say thank you for letting me uh, interview you. It's really a thrill to finally uh, meet uh, someone who I've idolized for a long time, and, you know, this is a dream come true for me, you know. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Uh, last but certainly not least, I got a two-part question for you. Uh, and and I said if I ever get had the chance to ever meet you, this is what I would ask. First question: 
How was life on the road with the Hockey Talk Man and Jimmy Hart when you guys were known as the duo Rhythm and Blues? You want the truth or a lie? Well, whatever you want to give me. We're, we're, on, we're on sensor radio. What the heck? <laughs> okay. I liked Honky. Uh, I liked him doing his own thing, and, uh, you know, I, I enjoyed him. He was funny. When I dyed my hair and everything, that was Vince McMahon's idea, and he chased me around for about nine months. And so finally I said, okay, what the hell, because I, I felt I felt that, that I was towards the end.